Hey guys, welcome back to our Walking Dead episode 4 walkthrough. This is part 3. Mitch, scoot over. You, you sound defeated, Mitch. <laughs> it's almost as if you know it's hopeless. It is hopeless. Are you spoiling it again? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me it's hopeless. You ruined the whole thing. This whole time I thought they had hope. Uh, they got a boat, they have hope. How's Omi doing? Is that really what we want to ask? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious I mean, about Omid. We got Omid. one really question like to ask. Omid. Ooh, Kenny! It's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Good news is boat works. Bad news is Ben fucked it up. Spoiler! <laughs> oh, again, <laughs> Mitch? Tough a question, so I'll make oh, it ouch. Someone didn't know the answer. Is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Uh, wh what about Crawford? I bet Sounds you they like have it. Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Nice face. <laughs> Surely I don't like that try. idea. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Uh -huh. Trust me, you don't Stupid. know these people. I do. <laughs> You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. No, oh, then we'll leave the wounded man here. We welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to We outside. sneak in. Are you guys idiots? There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. Yeah! There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't have What doctor have wouldn't know the sewer again. system? <laughs> yeah, actually. You know that James is not playing when he actually recommends the stealth route. I think <laughs> I can lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the sewer. As long as I don't have to do it. Supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So... It's decided then. I don't Crawford. like this plan. We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? Shut your mouth. I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. I agree with Ken. That boat out okay. there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. <laughs> Are you in or out? I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but do we know what the fuck we're going to do once we're on the boat? How are we going to get the boat to the water? Chance to prepare. Push it. back before midnight. Wait for the rain. That's how I'm still alive. Would have been funny if they came back in and like, there's no water anywhere around here. Boat's in the wrong place. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Yes, it'll be dangerous. I don't know, maybe. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Why does it say lie right there? No one else is going to die. But we have to take that risk because it's just as dangerous not to. 
I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? <laughs> About that. Uh... Hmm. I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, sweet pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. Nice save. Thank you. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? <laughs> Pulls out a gun, shoots Lee in the face. With you? you dumb son of a bitch. Hmm. What's our decision here, guys? Okay. I think we should take her. Oh, you're taking her. But you have to promise Good, to be quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. You better not let her die, ready. Zach. Dude, we're not gonna baby Clem because she's no baby. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> I in my playthrough, I left her in the house, and she's like, "You're leaving me with Ben." <laughs> oh, we left Ben there too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Ben and Ahmed or Omid, whatever his name is. Oh wait, no, never mind. That didn't happen in this part. I did take her with me. So that happens later. <laughs> Sorry. Spoiler! Oh, oh God. God. I ruined it again. Ah, James. Mother Jules might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Oh, this is where we discuss what we're doing with Ben, right? Another look at the boat. Oh. She's a thirty-footer. So. So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that Whoa. size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, that's what we're doing. Ben, mm. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Are we all in agreement here we cut Ben? Who? I don't know. I guess it comes down to what are who, who are we choosing from. Bree, she can help us. Wow. I don't, I don't How like, is she going to help us? I don't, I don't like Bree. I was a yeah. student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? Dude, bitch is going to backstab us. And what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Dude, I like the Assassin's Creed. Yeah, show. I was just going to say. She's like, no big deal. Time to traverse some buildings. I don't understand why we got cut well, Molly. Said, yeah. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place? It's not up for debate. Is? If you take her <clears throat> in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decision's made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. It's worth She's nothing. Coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Damn right, Kenny. Kenny's got your back. And Ben's got oh, that hat. Ben. I almost thought he was attacking. He's lucky if that was me, I would have karate chopped the axe and had it in his skull before he had gotten a chance to say here. <laughs> you don't hold the blade out at somebody like that. You hold it by the head of the axe. Yes, right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? I think you and Molly should trade axes. That's part about staying close. It goes double for you. Hmm. Bah! Okay, so clearly the school isn't right above us. Let's go. Have you ever seen a sewer <laughs> right inside of a school? I just took the guy by his word. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out and try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shoot. I think they've been set up. Yeah. Right behind you. I think Kenny only gave you that axe because he didn't want to do this kind of stuff. Hmm. 
Hmm. Isn't it funny how like everything stays perfectly still when I stop moving? Oh, oh I, thought not, a, I thought it was a frame rate problem. No, yeah, so did I. <laughs> I was like, this looks really weird. It's a zombie, isn't it? It's, a, it's gotta be a zombie. What the fuck? Look at the blood on him. Why would he yell what the fuck like that so loud? Oh, God! Oh, so Crawford didn't last, huh? So much for their ideal ideology. I ideology. Ugh. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? We've never been here. How do we? Oh, Get inside oh. Fast. maybe that's how they guard. Well, because they, from the stories, it seemed like uh, Crawford was a safe haven. Wait, I'm sorry. What was that? The way they've been talking about it, you'd think it's a safe haven, whatnot. Maybe all the people in Crawford are mean, because they're zombies. <laughs> Maybe that's why they don't like little kids. Everything okay over there? Fuck! Do you think they saw us? <laughs> Definitely. Wrong answer. Fuck! <laughs> You scared Clementine. I'm sorry, Clem. What happened here? <laughs> I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Yeah, it's good. He's right. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. Uh, you don't think. She should know, right? Yeah, she knows this this place, right? Look back of her hand. About this. I think the fat chick went and ratted us out. To... To who? Crawford or something. And now they're going to eat all these people because they're cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> they James, the cannibal, the yeah. cannibal story is done. Get off of cannibals. I, I don't know what you're talking about. That's exactly what happens after the world ends. People turn to cannibals or they're zombies, which is just, just basically cannibals. Yeah. But strangely enough, they don't eat other, other zombies. So they're I not really cannibals why. at all. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Not maybe one person at a time? It's a setup. It's gotta be a setup. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Game over. That's there's something really creepy about that. <laughs> yeah. Figures. It's an elementary school door. You take your foot and you push it through the door. <laughs> it's like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Actually, James, that looks like a steel door. To an elementary school? Maybe they replaced the door. I don't know. I don't believe it. Just give me a sec. Whenever zombies show up, the plan always changes. This would be the bin of our- Listen! What about the medicine? <sighs> right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Uh... Just makes sense, doesn't it? Ah, sure. Molly. Battery? Fuel battery. Any idea where we could find a battery? It's right over here. <laughs> How do you know that? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. See where it says motor pool? It's called Herman's. You can't I feel like Lee is smart enough what to figure this stuff out. Where should I start looking? The gas station. <laughs> There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably shed. where it'll be. Okay, okay, that's that's a little more clever. Shed for the hey, 
It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Wait, where's Clem gonna go? She's gonna chill with Ben. Oh, this is that spot? That the Mitch, Mitch ruined for me? Yeah. I didn't... I'm sorry. Mitch ruined this part? I didn't mean to ruin What it. is up with the odd back stairs here. from Molly right there? I was totally gonna be surprised. What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? He's too much of a dipshit. <laughs> You're to leaving me with Ben? <laughs> I love that lion. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I love that line. Back before you know it. Everyone knows that Ben's a dipshit. <laughs> Get back to work! <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that door opening itself. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Come back in the room. Clementine's got a little whip. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I want to check this door out. Is that a zombie or is that like Lee down there? Oh, that's Molly. That's Molly. Come on. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? <clears throat> I was actually really hoping, watching another playthrough of this, that uh, you would be able to choose which one you wanted to go to. Because I chose the battery when I, the, as the first thing I was interested in. So I figured, okay, maybe that's why we're going for the battery. Uh, but apparently, you always got to get stuck with Molly. Spoiler! I was going to play this game again, and I was wondering Shut the same your thing. Mouth. <laughs> you even apologized for me for getting on my case about the spoiler thing in the video. Now you're just doing it. Just to spite me. Uh, I don't know. I think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, people got really upset. And, and I mean, you can't help it. What are you going to do? Yeah, Mitch, how's it end? Be the door to the it I mean, he's not doing that. He, there's butterflies and rainbows. That's, Molly. that's, as, that's as specific as I'll get. Molly, you out here? Yell louder. <laughs> Maybe you fire a gun me. into the air. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> Authorized motor. Deliveries made in rear. Hey oh. <laughs> Whoa! That's Molly. That's She's not gonna Molly. Put or it's, it's that guy. That guy. The fence. Photo ID. What? Exciting stuff, huh, James? Ugh, yeah, this is good stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. It's a Heard sign. It. This is the place I'm looking for. Yep. Just, just what you needed. <laughs> Problem solved. There you go. But do you have your ID? <laughs> How could this possibly go? Go wrong? back to Macon, grab your ID, and then come back here. Oh. Oh god, my leg! Yeah. Oh, Mead. I'm so sorry. I know what it's like. Damn. It's jammed tight. Oh, if only you had Clementine. You throw her up there. <laughs> Would you really throw a girl that far, far in the sky? Molly, hike her to me. Go back to shotgun throw. Hail Mary. What oh, the fuck? Jesus Christ. Okay, that's Molly's doing, right? Leave him. He's mine. Where the hell have you been? Oof. She recognizes him, huh? Maybe. Maybe. What were you about to say, Mitch? Maybe. What? What do you think? 
The hell, Molly? What the hell do you think you're doing? Hit him in the head. Dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. I think he's just too weak. <laughs> Not a problem. Look what I found. It's just gonna say, watch Molly pick it up with one hand. Maybe you should. Oh, they awkwardly saw the trade off. Well, if somebody holds up the fence so that it doesn't fall. Come on! Or not. It would have just taken one person to hold it up, I think. Oh, press the button. Faster! Faster! If it's gets, oh, uh, it's gonna oh. get his legs. Oh god, he's moving! How is it not dead yet? Alright guys, we're gonna end this right here, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.